everyone, it's Christina from the DIYMommy.com and today I want to show you how to make a beautiful macrame plant hanger from a thrift store find. Today I'm so happy to be joining Hillary of Old World Home on this season's $5 Goodwill Challenge. If you've never heard of this challenge, it's where Hillary asks us to find a thrifted item that's around $5 and incorporate it somehow into our home. I just want to stop and give a big shout out to Hillary of Old World Home. She was one of the very first YouTubers that I stumbled across a few years ago that really inspired me to begin my own home related YouTube channel. Before that, I thought YouTube was just cat videos and teenager prank videos. And when I started watching her channel and a handful of other channels, I realized there was this whole group of people that loved their home and they loved sharing creative ways on how to make their home beautiful and cozy for their families and that really inspired me to do something with my channel. So if you haven't checked out Hillary's channel, make sure to do so. I will leave it somewhere up here and down in that description box below. So what I'm doing today is I am working with these globe-like vases I found at Value Village. So both of them together were $6 Canadian. So I'm going to say that is under $5 American. When I first picked these up, I had another DIY in mind and I might do that later with some different globes. But for this one, I thought it would be really fun to do some more macrame and some faux succulents and some rocks I found at the dollar store and create some beautiful macrame plant hangers. So now let me show you how to make these from thrifted Value Village vases. So here are the two vases I found at Value Village. I got a large one and a small one. And then I found these beautiful pebbles at Dollarama, the dollar store here in Canada. They were very inexpensive and I love the sea glass colors. And I used about one and a half containers to fill my two vases about halfway full. You could also just use rocks from your yard or from the beach. Next, I found these succulents. They were on Amazon. I will link to them down in the description box below. They are faux succulents. Sometimes the Dollar Tree has similar succulents as well. You could also use real plants, which would of course be the best option. However, I am putting these in my studio that I don't go to every day. So I wanted something that was zero maintenance. So I'm just arranging them in the vases how I like them. I'm trying to combine different textures. So the long hanging succulents with some more of the spiky ones and more round ones just to create interest in these vases. So I put about five succulents in each of the vases. Uh, the bigger one I put six in and here's how they turned out. So this is the larger one. Here's the arrangement for the larger one and then here is how the smaller one looks. Now I actually like these just as is. You could just use them as tabletop decor. However, um, I wanted to do a macrame hanger for one of them. So the large one I just kept as tabletop decor because it was quite heavy. And then the smaller one, I made a really fun macrame plant hanger. So I'm gonna show you how to make that next. So this DIY is a nice beginner's macrame tutorial because it only uses a few different knots. So I found this macrame cord at uh, Michael's. You can also find some on Amazon. I will link to it down below. And start by cutting eight pieces of macrame cord that are 12 feet long each. And the finished piece that I ended up with was about three feet long. So if you want yours longer, then cut longer cord. So I cut eight pieces of 12 foot long cord. And then I found this wooden hoop at uh, the Dollarama as well. And I'm threading all of my cords through this hoop and I want the middle of the hoop to be, or the middle of the cords rather, to be at the hoop. So basically you're just folding all the cords in half and making sure the bottoms are nice and even and the hoop is holding everything together at the top. Next, cut another piece of macrame cord that's about three feet long and then create a little U with your macrame cord like this with the tail at the top and a loop at the bottom and then tie the rest of your macrame cord around it like I'm doing here. This is a really cool way to create a gathering knot at the top of a plant hanger. I learned this from another YouTuber and I will link to the tutorial down in the description box below. At the end, you're going to pull your uh, end of your macrame cord through the loop at the bottom and then pull the top end and the knot is going to be hidden behind this gathering knot, which I thought was a really cool way to make the beginning of this piece. Next, you're going to divide all of your pieces into groups of four. So you're going to have four groups of four and you're going to use four strands to create some square knots. So first of all, I'm starting on the right hand side and I'm taking my rightmost piece of macrame cord and I'm putting it over top the two middle pieces of cord like this in a backward C. 
Then I'm taking my leftmost piece of macrame cord and putting it underneath the two middle pieces and up that left piece. And that's the beginning of a square knot. Now I'm going to do exactly the same thing, taking my rightmost piece, putting it in a backward C over the middle two pieces of cord, taking my leftmost, putting it under the two pieces and up and through that right piece. So you're going to continue in this way, always starting with your rightmost piece of cord, and this is going to create a spiral pattern. So you're just making basically a half square knot and you're creating a spiral pattern. You can go down as long as you want, but for this one that I made, I went down about three and a half inches with this pattern. I'm also going to leave a link in the description box below if you want to see um, more on these different knots that I'm using here so everything is nice and clear if you are new to macrame. So do the same knot pattern for all four groups of four macrame cords and you're going to have something that looks like this when you're finished that. Next you're going to go down probably about another four to five inches. You're creating your own plant hanger so do it how you want and then you're going to create another half square knot. So the right piece goes over in a backward C over the middle two pieces. Your leftmost piece of the group of four goes over and then under. And then you're going to create a backwards pattern. So you're going to have the left piece of macrame cord go over in a C shape over the two middle pieces, and then the rightmost go under and up and through. And that creates a full square knot. You're basically just reversing which uh, piece you start with, whether it's the left piece or the right piece in your group of four. And then you can kind of adjust your square knot to make sure it is the length that you want from that first pattern and continue in this way making square knots, alternating which side you start with to make a square knot pattern rather than the spiral pattern that you did at the beginning. So right side over in a C shape and then the left side under and up and through and then the reverse, the left side over in a C shape and under the two middle ones and up and through. And continue in this way till you have something that the, of the length that you want. So I made this piece about four inches as well. And then you're going to repeat that with all four groups of four. And at this point, I did hang mine up on the ceiling. At the beginning, I had it taped to my table, but you could hang it up right from the start on a pipe or a ceiling, whatever works for you. Then I'm going down another four to five inches and creating another square knot. So I'm doing the uh, starting from my left side, and then I'm starting from my right side to create that full square knot. And I'm just going to do one of these with this group of four and then I'm going to continue and do a square knot at the bottom of every group of four just like I'm doing here. So each group of four strings, four macrame cords, has a square knot about four to five inches below the last thing. Next, what you need to do is take only two macrame cords from one of the group of four and then two from the group of four next to that first group of four and you're going to create a, a square knot with this new group of four. So you're taking two from one group of four, two from the other, and basically this is going to create a diamond shape. You can see this here as I'm pulling it out. You can see the diamond shape that's created. This is going to be the start of what's going to hold your vase. So just make sure to take two from the adjoining groups. And this is one reason why I hung it at this point. It was because it was easier for me to see the groups that were next to each other. So I'm doing this all the way around and creating this nice diamond pattern that's going to hold my plant. And again, I'm going about four to five inches below my last knots. You can adjust this length depending on the size of your vase. Now after this, go another four to five inches down and just create a giant knot like I'm doing here, taking all of the pieces of macrame cord and creating a knot. And just make sure that's nice and tight. Pull on it and tug individual cords if you need to. Now if you open this up, you should have a nice 
container for your plant, for your thrifted globe plant, and then you can kind of organize and arrange all of the succulents inside. You could put the globe in without planting at first and then plant it after. I found planting at first was a little easier for me to see before it was hung, but again, that's totally use your own discretion. That is up to you. So here is my finished simple macrame plant hanger. I'm really happy with how this turned out and I think it would make a great beginner's macrame project. I really only use that square knot pattern and then just a basic knot at the bottom. And again, if you're a beginner macrame artist, make sure to check out the links in the description box below where I have all of the knots really clearly written for you um, so that you can kind of follow those along. Again, use your own creativity and you can do different patterns if you want. It's totally up to you. So here's those thrifted vases that I found and here is the completed DIY. Thanks so much for watching this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know down in those comments below if you would make these macrame plant holders or even just this sitting plant holder with the faux succulents and rocks or how you would make them differently. Thanks again to Hillary for hosting this $5 Goodwill challenge. Don't forget to check out her channel as well as the link to the playlist down in the description box below. I will leave everything down there. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you like budget-friendly DIY and decor ideas. If you want to keep watching, I'm going to leave some of my favorite videos for you right up here to watch next.